What's up guys, it's Ryler Reviews, back again with another video here. Today we are going to be reviewing the Integrated Suit Spider-Man from No Way Home. I am highly anticipating this review since I love this film, you guys already know this. I'm very excited to open this up. I know a lot of people out there are skipping out on this one simply because we got that new final suit, but today we're going to figure out if this was a worthy purchase. Spoiler alert, it is for me, but if you guys do enjoy the content, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button and enjoy the video. Let's open this guy up! Okay guys, here he is, the integrated suit. This is the deluxe version, so it comes with the base. We'll discuss that later, but for right now, we're looking at this figure, and the box is presented really nicely. The actual artwork of the box was really cool too, but you guys don't care about that. Let's see how the figure looks. And my god, does he look glorious. I mean, I had the original suit, the Far From Home suit, but I can tell that this one's definitely an improvement, and I love the way it looks. I mean, I don't know why people don't really like this suit in this film. I thought it was pretty cool. I did saw one of my favorite suits, but it's not like I disliked it or anything. Definitely worthy for the shelf. Now, right here, we have the tray of hands. I'm not going to go further in details with this because, I mean, we've seen a million of these. Other than those pointing fingers, which I love that Hot Toys included, we got the pointing fingers. We can recreate the meme, and we will do so in the video. I always find it funny when they have those wings. I feel like no collectors ever use those. Maybe there's some out there. Let me know in the comments, but I, I would bet to say that a lot of people don't we have the open mask here which is always nice to have and we have the phone which i'm struggling to grab but they just it comes with almost every tom spidey nowadays nothing too special there but we also have these sculpts this is a new one the half mask sculpt which honestly i hear a lot of people say they don't like I think it's really cool, and I think it's a really nice addition for Hot Toys to include. The likeness is there throughout and throughout. I could totally see Tom Holland, and I just, I love this thing. I just heard that the actual, like, texture of it isn't accurate to the actual body of the suit, but we'll get into that later. Now, guys, we have to talk about it. The inaccurate little spider legs that we never saw in the film. What do you guys think about this? I think they look really awesome, I'm not gonna lie. But since they're just not film accurate, it's gonna be tough to pose this in your just accurate display because it wouldn't be accurate, but it would still look really cool. Um, we also have this, which is just, we always get this. It looks a little bit more crisper than the original one, which I did have. I ended up selling it in preparation for this, but yeah, Tom Holland's there. The newest one's even better, and I cannot wait to get that one. Now, enough of Tom Holland. Let's get to the base. Now, guys, I, I just have to tell you, this base is the best base done by Hot Toys. I'm sorry, I'm gonna say it. This is amazing. The detail, the amount of engineering put into this, it's just glorious. It is glorious, guys. I, I know there's people out there who are skipping on this, but this might be that one thing to make you push over the edge. Yes, maybe you can find it somewhere else on a different site, but all I can say is that this base is the price of admission. The detailing, the actual extra added on things that they talked about in their Facebook post, this is just incredible. The layers of rocks, come on, guys. Look at that translucent goblin bomb into the normal, just regular paint. Like, this is great. And obviously, we have to have the Doc Ock tentacles, which are posable, which I love. Thank you, Hot Toys, for doing this. This is just the perfect, most nostalgic base for Tobey Maguire fans. You gotta have Tobey on this, because this is just perfect for him. But enough gushing about that. You see the posability with the Doc Ock arms. All you have to do is peg it into the base. But let's not waste any more time and get to the figure itself. All right, guys, here he is, and what do you guys think? I know Hot Toys made a post that they made it even more screen accurate, which I was so happy about, and I think he looks pretty damn good. I think it's a really nice-looking suit aesthetically, like maybe not in the film, but figure-wise, this thing pops. I love the gold accents on the chest symbol, and it's just a really good-looking suit for Spider-Man fans out there. I would recommend him. Now, like I said, you guys all have to keep in mind that that final red and blue suit's there, which is completely different to this, but it looks really glorious, and I understand why people would pick that up. But this one's really nice too, and to kind of show you guys another side of this figure, we have the head sculpt on him, Tom Holland, boom, right there, and he looks really good, obviously this is what we're used to from the original suits, and yeah, it just really works out, I'm, I always talk about this, this Tom Holland's one of the best likenesses, maybe underrated, because this is one of the Hot Toys' is best, because the likeness is totally there, and we have to talk about the newest one, the half mask sculpt what do you guys think how do you think it looks i do get what people are saying the color tones are maybe a tad different but is that going to stop me from using it absolutely not i really like it and i think it's perfect for when you have those certain poses you guys will see what i'm talking about now trust me i do not mean to toot my own horn but we went pretty wild with the poses my buddy nick helped me out with a lot of them so shout out to him you guys want to make sure to stay till the end of the video because we got some pretty crazy stuff coming up but before we get to that it's comparison time. Let's go to the original Tom Holland suit, the tech suit, 
which you could just tell that like this this man changed. He changed from the original Homecoming. Like this is this is completely revitalized, and I really like both of these suits. Sort of showcasing the jump in time from Homecoming to No Way Home, the best Spider-Man film. I know it, and this trio definitely knows it. Let's go, guys. We have the Toby and Andrew Garfield. We've been waiting for this. This trio, I am so happy. Once I've got these just all three in the light box, I was just like, damn, yes, yes, yes. If you guys didn't know, the Toby one on the left is actually a Fison body, which I really do enjoy. I'm excited for the newer one, obviously, because this one it does look aged, and so does that Andrew Garfield. Once we get those new ones in, it's going to look even more beautiful and glorious, but right now, this will suffice. Do be sure to let me know in the comments below which Spider-Man is your favorite, but personally to me, I'm going with Toby Maguire. He's my guy. Andrew's right there, though, and Tom is third. All right, guys, enough gushing about this. Let's talk about things that I don't like about the figure. And this right here is, guys, I understand they needed to put the peg holes for the actual spider arms, but I just don't like the way that this looks. I feel like it it ruins the realism to me. Like it, The stickers are just not flush into it. It was honestly just a little disappointing, but, you know, it is what it is. That was pretty much the only thing I disliked about the figure, but as I'm showing how to put these spider arms into his back, let's get to some poses. Now, I don't think that I've had as much fun posing as I've ever done with a figure up until now because this base just does it. You have so many ideas that can go into your mind for poses and also some complimenting figures, which we will show right here with the trio. I mean, the fact that you can fit three figures onto this base is also really cool. Well, semi-fit three figures as Andrew's kind of falling there. It's nice to see Hot Toys doing more diorama-style bases. I hope that they keep doing this for the future because it just fits with so many other characters. And I think that's super important. Another super important pose is Tom Landing, arguably one of the most iconic scenes, if not the iconic scene from the film. And I just love the way it turned out. Now, I think my personal favorite out of this video is going to be this one here. We have the trio getting ready to swing into battle against the Sinister Five, I guess you could say it. But it was definitely a struggle fitting all three on top of the base. But as my buddy Justin's collection would say it, this is definitely worth the time put in. Now, could you get the final suit and pair this with the three? I guess you could, but it wouldn't be accurate at all. That's entirely up to you. Now, I'm sorry. I don't mean to steal Tom's thunder because this is his review, but come on. This has Doc Ock, Goblin, and Sandman. You know I had to have a signature pose for Toby, and I love the way that this turned out. I love that broken piece of building because you can almost make it look like he's climbing on it and standing over it as one of the Doc Ock arms are latching onto his foot. I had a lot of fun doing this pose. Now, as we wrap up this review, guys, at the end of the day, is this integrated suit worthy for the collection? Yes. I'd say so. Personally, if you're a huge Spider-Man fan, if you're not so much a Spider-Man fan and you're very selective, I would say probably not. But if you're one of those people who love diorama bases, I think that's a huge selling point, especially for people who can pose. You guys can do some of the most amazing, spectacular poses you can grab. Yes, that was pun intended. Was that good? Probably kind of cringy. It's okay. <laughs> but um, again, I'd recommend picking this up. The base the accessories, the amazing figures you can complement it with. It's a no-brainer in my eyes, but is it for you? Let me know in the comments below. If you guys enjoyed the content, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button, and we'll catch you guys in the next video. See you guys.